It's widely believed that males are better navigators than females. However, is this belief true? So today I'm going to address whether this belief holds true in navigation in real world. So previous research has shown gender difference in navigation. Males perform better than female in navigation tests in desktop virtual environment. Males also report navigating more based on cognitive map and digital landmark, while female depend more on learn route and local landmark. In a desktop virtual environment study, males were more likely to take shortcut when they are asked to navigate through a maze, while female rely more on route knowledge by taking familiar route they traveled before, and that is considered to be less efficient. Overall, the ability to form cognitive map is considered to be more superior than route knowledge. However, desktop navigation is quite different from real-world navigation. As the picture shows here, desktop environment might not be a good stimulation of real-world environment. Most of peer research are conducted in desktop environment, so they fail to examine the spatial navigation ability in real world. Um, female usually has less expo exposure to video game, and they might expand their worst performance. Real world navigation also incorporates motor feedback. That's, that's not available in desktop environment, but that's important to spatial learning. Physical cause of getting tired also plays a role in real world navigation, and that might lead people to take shortcut more. Therefore, I conducted an honor thesis, my honor thesis in real outdoor setting. So in the learning phase, people are introduced to a route through a space, and they are asked to learn 10 landmarks along the route. After that, they are asked to complete a spatial orientation test. That's a test of direction estimation ability and accurate cognitive mapping. They, they will have to imagine they are standing at one landmark, facing the other landmark, and point at the third landmark. Then, they are asked to find their way and walk from one landmark to another by either taking a learn route, a shortcut, or any route in between based on their own preference. So that's a test of navigation strategy, and it's also a measure of efficiency by distance travel. Here's an example of a learn route. Here's an example of a shortcut. And here's a comparison between learn route and shortcut. So the result shows there's no gender difference in either spatial orientation test or wayfinding test. More angular error and more distant travel means worse performance. However, the bar graph on the right shows that female and male have similar performance with similar variability. One interesting thing to notice here is that the p-value in wayfinding tests is smaller than spatial orientation tests. That might also suggest that female tend to take learn route while possessing a similar cognitive mapping ability. So my take home message today is that sex different did not replicate in a rural environment. Desktop tests might have limitations that might not accurately reveal people's ability. However, it's important to test spatial cognition in the real world. Thank you.